Hello everyone, my name is Raven, and welcome back to another lovely GZ Doom tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you all how to make windows much like this. Uh, so, transparent texture, and then, you know, we have a nice special bottom for them, and a top and a cap. And also have a lovely middle piece, as well as a separate top. Um, so it should be pretty good. Uh, there's a little bit of a trick to get cheesy doom to you know kind of function this way uh but we're gonna i'm gonna show you all how to do it and this is uh, a map that i did from uh the stream from a couple weeks back and then in a later video i'm gonna show you all how to make more like quake style maps like this where you know you have an outdoor area with well 3d floor and then this and we'll also cover some uh, additional things that need to be required for this window so let's go on ahead and let's go back to our very scrappy map zero, zero one to be exact. And let's see. Okay, so oh, where do we want to actually put this thing? Um, you know, let's actually put it over in here, and then we'll just have the hallway go back this way. That that seems fine. So I'll hit L, and I will just drag this down just a little bit. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Control shift d And I'm just going to make this... Eh, 32 is fine. Okay, so as you can see, it kind of pushed it back a little bit. But that's fine. That's the way we want it. And then we're just going to hit Control-Shift-D again. And I want a, a little bit of a gap there. All right. And then we'll just bring it back like so. And I think I'll just put, like, a small doorway of 192 right here. Okay, awesome. So now we have, like, you know, a nice little entryway here. And can I make this taller? I mean, I guess I can make this taller, can't I? We're just gonna, I'm just not going to make it too much taller. And we can hit Control-C, like, whenever we have a... Like, whenever our cursor is over something, we need to Control-C. And then we can middle mouse click to copy the texture around. That way we don't have to. Okay, I'll actually leave that one. And we can hit Control A to realign all the textures, which is very cool. And I guess we'll just drag this one up as well. Why not? And same as before, we'll just copy paste these. And we're going to do a realign. Awesome. Okay. So now what we want to do is we actually want this to be a window, but we don't, you know, particularly want this to be, uh, you know, flat. So we're going to raise this up ever so slightly. And I think I'm going to change the floor here. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to the floor. I'm going to go down to the free doom wide. I'm going to type in AQ. And I'm just going to look for some floors. Uh, you know what? This one right here. I like this one. It's actually the one I was using before. So I'm going to grab that, and then I'm going to hit Control c and I'm going to paste it into this room. You know, just to have a little bit of a difference. And you know what? I'm even going to paste it up there as well. Not up there, though. I'll leave that one alone for now. And now what we need is we need a nice uh, side here. So let's go to the front. Let's go for the missing. Once again, we'll type in AQ. And we'll just scroll down. I think I'll use this one here. It's the one I was using before, and I actually kind of like it. And we'll copy it. And we'll paste it in. And there you go. We'll hit Control A. Maybe realign some stuff there. Okay. So, everything here works so far, you know, kind of as intended. Um, but now, what we want to do is we actually want to put in our window. So I'm going to hit L. Also, I'm going to flip this. Uh, we want the line def pointing outwards. I'm going to grab both of these. I'm going to right click. And for the front middle, once again, we're going to type in AQ. And we're going to scroll down. We're going to look for this one right here. And we're going to hit OK. And then I'm going to hit OK again. And I'm going to go out and make sure that it's there. I'm going to hit H to hide the highlight. And you can see that, yeah, it's there. But we can't see through it. So how do we actually fix that part? Well, that's actually really easy to do. So we'll go back into our, with both our line def selected, we'll right click. We'll go into alpha 
and we'll just set it to 0 0.3. Now there are some other flags here like transparent and translucent and all this stuff, but I'm just gonna use the render style setting. It gives us much more finer control. And as you can see at 0 0.3, it actually kind of does look a little bit like glass, which is partly why I picked it. Now, before we get started with all the other stuff, I'm gonna load in, I'm gonna turn around here. I'm just gonna skedaddle straight on through here. And I'm gonna point out a very glaring uh, issue here. First off, as you notice, I fired straight through. I can walk through, I can jump through, none of which is particularly good. So let's fix that. And then, you know, we'll go on ahead and check out the next part. So let's exit there. I'm gonna deselect these. And I'm gonna hit H to turn back on my highlight. I'm gonna hit Control C. I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna change this because I kind of want this to all be one thing and I don't want to deal with it later. Okay, so we've done this. Now what do we need to do? Well, we're gonna hit L and we're gonna select both of these and right click. And now we need to change our properties. So we could do block everything. We could block the players. We could block the monsters. We could tell it to block land monsters, floating monsters, sound, projectiles, uh, all sorts of lovely options here. We're just gonna select block everything. Uh, we want it to, you know, for the most part, we want it to block literally everything. Now, if you wanted monsters to see the player through this, then you wouldn't click this. You would just go through and, you know, check everything. And yeah, we probably want to turn that on. I mean, we probably don't need to because we're not going to have any use actions on the other side of this. But now, if we had it like this, monsters could see us, would probably try to attack us. We could also disable sound and stuff like that. And we'll hit OK. And now we will run it again. And then we will turn around and we'll run right through and we'll shoot it. And as you can see, it's blocking it. We can't go through it. We can go around the other way. Same issue. And there you have it. Okay, so now you have a semi-transparent window. I think I'm actually going to set the translucency to 0 0.4. Probably would help if I'm not inside of it. Ah, there we go. That's a little better. It's got a bit more of a, a stained, foggy glass kind of effect going on there. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a, you know, like a pillar kind of like in the middle to kind of break it up a little. And I'm gonna do Control Shift D and I'm just gonna select a 32 by 32 pillar. And you'll notice that because, um, okay, so when we created this, I raised the ceiling height. And part of the reason I did that was so that we could have, you know, a uh, a separate thing here. And what this has effectively done is it's kind of chopped it up. So now we have our own extra piece and it has its own separate middle layer. And if you, if you tried to do this, uh, you know, any other way, you would run into quite a lot of issues here. I'm gonna flip these and I'm also gonna select them and I'm gonna set the alpha back to one. And ah, actually, I think these pointing inward is what I wanted there. No, right, I need to go into the front here and where is it? I think that was it. Yep, there we go. Okay, so now we have our working pillars. We'll hit Control A there to reassign it. So back to what I was saying before. If you had tried to do this where, you know, you essentially, when you want to do something to the effect of what we did, you have to drag the top part down and the bottom part up and then you can assign it. If you drag from say the top or the bottom all the way up, uh, you only have the middle texture and you won't be able to do this little lovely pillar in the middle there. And I mean, there you go. That's that's pretty much it. That's everything. It also blocks. Uh, now it's very important that you do keep it, you know, set so that it, you know, it does block everything. And we're gonna go on ahead and go through. I'm pretty sure that everything else will block, but just to be on the safe side, I'm going to go through and tell it to block everything for the flag, which is pretty good. And these are all marked as a passable, so 
blocks pretty much everything. And that's pretty cool. I'm uh, I'm a big fan of this. Uh, I actually did it by accident, so um, I really enjoy the way that you know it looked and all that good stuff. So I will see you all in the next one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you guys have any suggestions or things that you guys would like to see, definitely do. Uh, you know, put a comment down below or join the Discord. Let me know there. And if you would like to support this channel, I have reopened the Patreon. You can uh, go to the Patreon, subscribe. You get the same perks as you do. Well, roughly the same perks as you do uh, with YouTube. Or you can become a YouTube member. There's links to both down in the description. And I will see you all in the next one. Y'all have a good one. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching Raven Gaming Labs. Thanks to all the members and viewers who make RGL possible. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell so that you can be notified. If you want to become a member, hit the join button or link in the description below. Members get early access to videos, member exclusive content, and more. As well, don't forget to join our awesome community over at Discord. Y'all have a good one.